Rob Oller, the uh, Buckeyes sports columnist for Columbus Post-Dispatch, joins us. Uh, thanks for your patience there, Rob, on our nonsense here. How is uh, Nick Bosa's decision playing amongst the Ohio State fans? Well, you know, Buckeye Nation, Dan, uh, it's always going to be a little mixed. Uh, they love him one day, and then when he says he's uh, departing to go out and spend some time with Joey, his brother, and train and rehab and leave the team, suddenly he's a traitor, and uh, they have no use for him. So I think that's a smaller segment, but it's they're all the same. Uh, you know, they don't like where college football is going, which is – guys maybe sitting out uh not playing in bowl games you know christian mccaffrey kind of started that whole thing in 2016 with the bowl skip and last year even ohio state denzel ward skipped the cotton bowl uh it hasn't hurt him too much he's no. playing great for the browns so yeah so that's what kind of what's going on here that it's all being lumped together i think this might be a bit of a one-off i mean here's a guy that got injured fairly serious injury um and he's just deciding to uh you know what uh Go go pro, and uh, I can't blame him. That's what college is for, right? Start your career. But I'm trying to understand the seriousness of the core injury and to shut it down. When was he expected back, first question, and was he running any risk or more of a risk of re-injuring that? That's a great question. Uh, he actually, you know, this core muscle injury is sort of a new term for what we would call a sports hernia. It's essentially what it is, and it can be anything from pretty simple to pretty extreme. I talked to a doctor yesterday. He said he, he assumes that this is a pretty serious thing. Um, but, you know, they weren't even going to look at him till November. So it was kind of a moot point anyhow that uh, that was, that was going to be the reevaluation. So could he come back for, you know, say, if they make the playoffs? Yes. I don't think he'd be 100%. So, why come back if you're not going to be really the Joe, the uh, Nick Bosa that uh, maybe was in the Heisman, you know, uh, discussion. And it feels like uh, Bosa's teammates were backing him up. Uh, at least some of the public comments that I saw, but here's the only thing that he's the team captain that, that probably bothers me more than maybe it should, but it doesn't feel like it bothered uh, some of the marquee players on this team who tweeted out, uh, stuff about Nick Bosa, like, hey, go get paid, bro. Yeah, different culture. Uh, if this was 20 years ago, I think we see different responses. Uh, I think these guys all come to Ohio State now with the NFL in mind. Not that they all didn't before, but uh, I think it's, you know, get yours. And, uh, you know, I, James Franklin at Penn State made an interesting comment uh, yesterday, which was he, he kind of hopes for the day when rehab centers, when guys can rehab at the school. And I think that that's a whole nother issue where, you know, I mean, Bosa feels like he has to leave Ohio state to get what he needs to get ready for the draft. What if every college had that, but that's down the road. And I'm not even sure what I think about that. You, you become, you know, just a whole different entity at that point of, of rehabbing guys for the NFL. But uh, yeah, I think the captain thing's a little bothersome. And I think that's what people are, are, are hooking into to be upset about, but uh, you know, he did hang around practice for a while and, and now he's, he's scooping off. So uh, I think this will pass as soon as Michigan week comes, this will be forgotten. For more Dan Patrick show tune to audience channel 239 on direct TV or download the Dan Patrick show app.